What's up everyone? Today, we're gonna to talk about some of the things that you absolutely must know before moving here to Nashville, Tennessee. Now you may have some common misconceptions or things that you think about Nashville. Um, there's obviously a thousand great reasons to live here and I absolutely love it here. Um, but there are some things that some people may not love about Nashville and we need to talk about those so that you're fully prepared when you decide to move here. Now, if this is your first time visiting my channel, my name is Jen Gramling and I'm a realtor here in the Nashville and Williamson County and surrounding areas. And I'm putting out weekly videos just to help you get more familiar with Nashville and all the surrounding areas as you try to make that decision if you want to relocate here or not. Um, and also just to give you any information to help you make that decision. And if you are moving here and you're looking for information, um, feel free to reach out to me. You can text, call, and I'll be happy to answer any and all of your questions. Um, I'm just here to help, so definitely reach out to me. So let's go ahead and jump into some of those things that you might wanna know before you move to Nashville. Okay, so the first thing I wanna talk about is the weather. So we have a lot of people who are wanting to move here from the Midwest, Northeast, or the Mountain West, and they're really excited to get away from some of those really cold winters and the deep snows, um, and you definitely will do that here. We get a dusting of snow occasionally um, and some cold days, but nothing like what some of those other climates have. We do have beautiful, um, spring and fall weather and gorgeous seasons, no question about it. But the summer, it does get hot. And so if you're not used to that humidity, it is kind of shocking. So I even grew up here, I moved away, I've been spending a lot of years in Denver where I did get to enjoy that dry heat, um, which to me felt really hot when I was there because we had a lot of over 100 days. But for whatever reason, even 80 degrees with this kind of humidity feels hotter than it felt there. So you just have to prepare yourself for that and have ways that you can cool off. So for me, I'm not an extreme weather kind of person. I don't really like the really, really cold and the snow, and I don't really like the extreme hot either. So um, I know that people in Florida and Louisiana would probably laugh at our weather here, and I know it's nothing compared to that, but for me, it's still pretty hot. So, you know, I stay inside, I have my air conditioning, go to the pool and cool off or go to the lake. There's plenty of ways that you can beat the heat, but just be prepared for a few months of really hot weather and feeling a little sticky. So, but the great thing is that the air conditioning in your house or your car does reduce that humidity a lot so you don't feel that. And then the humidity really does just drop off in spring and fall and it just, it feels amazing outside. So definitely worth the pain of those few months, but be prepared for it. Okay, so speaking of the weather, Nashville does get a ton of rain. And with all that humidity, as you can imagine, springtime is absolutely beautiful with things blooming and trees and flowers and all kinds of things that are growing. But what does that also bring is allergies. And Nashville is ranked in the top 30 in the nation for worst allergies. So that is something that you need to be aware of. Now, it depends on what you're allergic to. I mean, obviously there's all kinds of pollens in the spring that are in the air and things that could, you know, stir up your allergies. And in the fall, it's really bad for ragweed. And I know that when my mom was living here, she was having to have allergy shots every single week for her terrible allergies or she would swell up like hitch. And once she moved to Denver, she was completely fine. She never had to have those allergy shots again. Uh, but for other people, it's the opposite. So when I moved here, my allergies cleared right up. But that is something that you just need to be aware of um, and just keep in mind when you're moving here. Uh, the great thing about allergies is that usually it's just a seasonal thing and for most people, it's not that big of a deal. You can take your Claritin or whatever it is that you need to take and you'll be fine um, or just see an allergist. There's lots of solutions out there, but it's something to just be on the top of your mind when you're thinking about moving here. Okay, so it seems like rain and humidity, flowers are kind of the common denominator for a lot of these things that I'm hating on, but one of the things that I really don't like about Tennessee is the bugs. And having moved from Colorado where we basically had no bugs, um, coming here, ugh, I don't like it. I'm still traumatized by an incident with a cricket when I was a kid and I just don't like bugs. Um, so when you move here, just be aware, you're gonna see things, you know, depending on where you've moved from, if you've moved from Florida, you'll be fine. If you're moving from somewhere dry with maybe not a lot of critters, um, then, you know, you're gonna see some hairy centipedes, some furry little guys. You're gonna see stink bugs in the spring and you're gonna see a lot of ladybugs in the fall, which are actually kind of cute. Um, but I had quite a few of them on my back porch. You're gonna see all kinds of bugs. The great thing is that I have some recommendations for you for an exterminator. Um, and if you don't appreciate those bugs like I don't, I just have them come spray quarterly um, and I never see them. Mosquitoes haven't been a real issue for us here, 
but I know that they are in some places. And that's another thing that people do frequently spray here for. Once or twice a year, they will have them come and spray their entire yard. You can put little granules in your yard to prevent those as well. So there are ways around those bugs. Screen porches obviously are your best bet. Great, you can still sit outside and enjoy your evening and not have to worry about those bugs. Uh, lots of solutions for the bugs, but they are there. Not my favorite, but I've managed to avoid them as much as I can. Okay, switching gears a little bit, I wanna talk about the increasing cost of living. So over the last 10 years, Nashville has just seen absolutely explosive growth. And people are moving here for tons of reasons. They're moving here for the schools, for the outdoor lifestyle, um, for the people. But that has also led to a significant increase in cost of living. So while for some people who may be moving from more affluent areas of California and, and New York with higher cost of living, for a lot of people who wanna move here, they may feel like they're priced out of the market a little bit. Um, but that's not 100% true. So while it is more expensive than some other cities, there are plenty of options still for housing and great places to live. So obviously the further you get out from the city, you're gonna find a lot more affordable housing and you can actually get a lot of bang for your buck in a lot of these suburbs outside of Nashville. And aside from that, there are places in downtown Nashville where you can still live. So if you're wanting to move to one of the coolest neighborhoods in downtown Nashville with great walkability and, you know, tons of amenities, then you're gonna to have to pay top dollar for that. But while we might have a higher housing cost, one of the great places that you are gonna save is your state income tax. Um, in Tennessee, there is no state income tax. If you didn't already know that, I'm sure you probably already do. Um, but we also have some of the lowest property taxes in the country, which is really nice. And also compared to other states, our homeowner's insurance is less, car insurance is half of what it is in some other places car registrations, things like that, um, you're gonna save on a lot of those things. So while you may feel like you're gonna have to pay a little bit more for a house, you're gonna save in a lot of other areas, making it definitely worth looking into. Another really good thing to talk about is the public transportation and walkability. So if you're moving from another big city that's really walkable where you don't have to have a car, um, you can just walk wherever you need to go or take an Uber, um, it's probably not gonna be that simple here. So Nashville is a little bit lacking, I find, in its mass transit system. So whereas a lot of other cities may have something like a subway or a light rail system, Nashville does not have that. And then our bus system, I do feel like is lacking a little bit. So in a lot of other cities, you'll have those buses that will go in and all around through all the suburbs. So, you know, if you're working or you're living out in the suburbs and then you wanna hop on the bus and take that down into downtown Nashville to go work, um, that's not really gonna be possible here. You have to get to like a major highway to hop on those buses as the system just isn't that extensive. And I'm sure as time goes on, Nashville's gonna see the need to expand that bus system more to accommodate those people who wanna travel into downtown and work. Um, but as of right now, it's not the best, so just keep that in mind. So the last thing that you need to know um, is that Nashville is huge for tourism, and you probably already knew that. There's a lot of reasons why people would wanna come here um, for the Country Music Hall of Fame, the Ryman Auditorium, um, just being on Broadway, tons of bachelorette parties, people always coming here for that. So if you're hanging out in downtown Nashville, uh, specifically around the Broadway area, it's really just always packed except when there's a pandemic but at other times you know the crowds start gathering easily at 9 10 in the morning is when people start filtering in there and then you know it's packed all the way through the wee hours of the morning so if you don't like that you may want to avoid that part of town for a lot you will sit in a ton of traffic down there um, there's always pedal taverns with uh, bachelorette parties riding around and just tons of people down there to see live music hang out and party on broadway bird scooters riding around and getting in the way of people and annoying everyone. Uh, that's just how it is down on Broadway. Typically doesn't go much farther past that area, so you don't really have to worry about that in other parts of the city, um, but just specifically down in that Broadway area. If you don't enjoy the crowds, you don't enjoy a ton of people around, then you might wanna avoid that part of Broadway. But all in all, you know, that's one of the great draws of Nashville is that it's just such a cool place with a lot of fun things to do. And so if you're feeling like having some fun, you know, that might be a good place to go hang out and have some fun. Okay, so those are my top things I felt like you might really want to know before moving here to Nashville or making that decision to move. So I hope that was helpful for you. Again, my name is Jen Grambling and I'm a realtor here in the Nashville area um, and just here to help you with everything moving. 
um, everything relocating. So if you have any questions at all, feel free to reach out to me. You can call, text, send me an email. Um, I'm helping people every day, you know, find where they fit here in Nashville. So I'm happy to help you with all your questions. Um, you'll find my contact information here. Um, and then it's also in the comments. So feel free to reach out to me anytime. And also don't forget, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you can be the first to see all of my videos as they come out. Um, so you can find all that important information on Nashville. So be sure to check out my next videos and I look forward to seeing you soon.